number 39A session is called to order that the record reflect all parties present when the court last recess or again present in court. Do you have a seat, Manny? May we just go? I wrote the statement uh, in confinement, so I'll start now. Uh, following facts are provided in support of the Providence Inquiry for my court martial, United States versus PFC Bradley E. Manny. Personal facts. I am a 25-year-old private first class in the United States Army. My primary military occupational specialty, or PMOS, is 35 Foxtrot Intelligence Analyst. I entered my active duty status on 2 October 2007. I enlisted with the hope of obtaining both real world experience and earning benefits under the GI Bill for college opportunities. My recruiter informed me that I should select an MOS that complemented my interests outside the military. In response, I told him that I was interested in geopolitical matters and information technology. He suggested I consider becoming an intelligence analyst. Facts regarding the unauthorized storage and disclosure of the, of the 12 July 2007 Aero Weapons Steve video. The video de depicted several individuals being engaged by, by an Aero Weapons team. At first, I did not consider the video very special, as I had viewed countless other war porn type videos depicting combat. However, the recorded audio comments by the Aero Weapons team crew and the second engagement in the video of an unarmed bongo truck troubled me. It was clear to me that the event happened because the Air and Weapons team mistakenly identified various employees as a potential threat and that the people in the bongo truck were merely attempting to assist the wounded. The people in the van were not a threat, but merely good, good Samaritans. The most alarming aspect of the video to me, however, was the seemingly delightful bloodlust the Air and Weapons team they, they appeared to have. They dehumanized the individuals they were engaging and seemed to not value human life by referring to them as, quote, dead bastards, unquote, and, for, and congratulating each other on the ability to kill in, a lar in large numbers. At one point in the video, there's an individual on the ground attempting to crawl to safety. The individual is, is seriously wounded. Instead of calling for medical attention to the location, one of the Aero Weapons Team crew members verbally asked for a wounded person to pick up a weapon so that he can have a reason to engage. For me, this seems similar to a child torturing hands with a magnifying glass. Shortly after the second engagement, a mechanized infantry unit arrives at the scene. Within minutes, the Air Weapons team crew learns that children, that children are in the van, and despite the injuries, the, the crew exhibits no remorse. Instead, they downplay the significance of their actions, saying, quote, well, it's their fault for bringing their kids into a battle, unquote. For me, it's all a big mess, and I'm left wondering what these things mean, and how it all fits together, and it burdens me emotionally. I saved a copy of the video on my workstation. At, at the time, I placed the video and rules of engagement information onto my personal laptop. On, on about 21 February 2010, I used the WLO submission form and uploaded the documents. The WLO released the video on 5 April 2010. 